cardinal rule. Ten. 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 If I go to a bathroom and there are open stalls and you use the stall next to me, I'm not gonna lie, I have no choice but to think you're going you're trying to smash. Today we got Gen Z unspoken rule by my dog Jacob through I'm not gonna lie There is no video where your face needs to look like this There is no topic that you could talk about that would cause your face to look like this But as you guys know one curse equals three push-ups you already know in the vibes Let's just get straight into it rules are the rules in life that we don't really talk about but they keep the world in balance you know what i'm saying they keep the world from being a gta lobby basically here's an example of when covid dropping us my family from central america let's go hey that's clear right there you know what i'm saying broken rules regarding the case was not in place it has to come from the same virus to be in the same family viruses come in no, stop touching with your head. Yeah, I don't know if that was a good example. I just really wanted to play that clip. So we gonna cover some of the most important rules and we gonna rank them on importance. With 10 being the highest. Now starting off, we have the old at least one space between the urinal rule. 10, 10, 10. If I go to a bathroom and there are open stalls and you use the stall next to me, I'm not gonna lie, I have no choice but to think you're going, you're trying to smash. I have no choice. I have to take that personal. Now I'm gonna start us off with a little quiz today. Now let's say you're on the verge of peeing yourself, quite literally. And look at that, that. you enter the bathroom and every potty's occupied. Besides one year no already next to somebody using it. And yeah, if there's not toilets available, go ahead and use it though. If there's not toilets available, go ahead and Do use you it. Do you A, use the urinal right next to him? Or yes. Or B, possibly pee yourself? Cause okay, also, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's also equally as gay to not use the bathroom because you don't want someone to think you're gay. Like, are you that, like, are you that insecure about your sexuality? You know what I'm saying? Now, now, all my mentally sane viewers would say B and possibly thug it out. But to the mentally deranged viewers that say A and P right next to them, you're the reason this is an unspoken rule and we need to talk about it. Now, to all my hey, female man. viewers, you might not know what a urinal is, but basically it's a little, <laughs> little stand up. They don't got little separators. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes, like, you're just going to be using the bathroom and you accidentally touch someone's tip. It's just... Sometimes you misstep, your shit swing over there, and it just like, sometimes that be what it is. I cursed, I wrote it down. Area where you can pee, and it's right next to somebody. And it actually conveniently has a little wall for some privacy. And you know, it sounds convenient, but sometimes things get a little awkward when people get too close. Hence the unspoken rule of at least one space between the urinals. And you know, this seems like a pretty fair and obvious rule because like, who would wanna be peeing right next to another man that close and intimate, bruh? It just don't make sense to me. Cause really the people who go right next to you while you're at a urinal, they on the FBI watch list for sure, they gotta be. Like y'all, I remember I was taking a leak at the urinal, having a great day relieve myself. Old dude gonna come up right next to me and start peeing. It's Every like when there's stuff available, bro, like, X100. I remember someone went to a urinal next to me right Your before rhino. I peed. I zipped my pants and peed in the stall. I wanted to fight that cracker so bad. Bro, Am I tripping? Like, it, if there's toilets available, yeah, it's wrong. But if there's no toilets available, bro, I'm peeing next to you. I'm not going to hold it for you, bro. But yeah, if there's toilets available, he's tripping. He's tripping. He's tripping. I ain't going to lie. I'm not going to cap. Yeah, bro. And then bro had the nerve to try to start a combo with me. Like we both Combo is crazy. Our pins out. Why are you trying to talk to me, gang? I really should have swung on old dude, but I'm an outstanding citizen. And I respect my elders way too much. But you know, it's really the principle to it, bro. Like It I, was an empty bathroom? Yeah, no, he wanted your meat, bro. I'm not going to lie. Get there all made. But when there's 30 other freaking urinals in the spot, why are you going right next to somebody? Are you lonely? Do you need some help? Old dude going to look into my eyes while I'm peeing, bro. Like, come on, gang. I don't even, like, what? <laughs> and don't get me started if they try to start peeing hard harder than you in the stall. That's when you really just got PRT and told me to skip over that. I would say this. Nigga got a pressure washer in his pants. This is about an eight, you feel me? Has anyone ever tried to start a combo with you? No. What? I've been told I have a crazy RBF face though. I've been, I've been told I am not approachable. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes people will see me in public and literally DM me on Instagram. Hey, I saw you at this place. Like, dang, you didn't say what's up? Like. Dang, bro. I mean, I think that's fair. Now, this next unspoken rule is very, very important, especially for my little Rizzlers. Yo, that was brain rot. <laughs> now, if you don't know, the rule goes a little bit of something like, if your homie's talking to his crush and you're around, he must become the funniest person on planet. I agree with this take. Earth for however long he's talking to her. Now, let me explain. As a W man's and knowing that your homie's trying to get with someone they talking to you and you're in the vicinity, vicinity, any joke he cracks, any comedian. You gotta, you gotta at least, you gotta at least chuckle, bro. There is no situation where you can leave silence. You know what me and Stanley be doing? 
if me and Stanley are in a situation and Stanley's talking to a girl, I would say if I was talking to a girl, but that situation never happens, I'll set lobs. Like, I'll set, like, opportunities for him to tell a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we're, like, talking or something, I'll say something to which he can respond and be funny. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, a, I'm a W man's, bro. You know, coaches never play the game. You know what I'm saying? I'll get Stanley a girl. I just, I just won't get one for myself. Any breath that comes out his body is the funniest joke you ever heard. Simple. As I don't care, bro. Drops a knock knock joke. That is going to be the funniest <laughs> joke you ever heard. I don't care, bro. Said, what if the Christian trick and trick run hot? <laughs> but y'all get the gist. What are we doing, bro? To what I'm saying, bro. Because everybody knows when other people are laughing, it promotes other people to laugh. Yep. And this is really one of the easiest and simplest way to throw a lot. It's such an easy lie, bro. bro. Just laugh. You better be acting like he Kevin Hart of the next Dave Chappelle incoming. And she better think the same thing. Vice versa. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about, yo-yo? You ain't no coach. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm telling you right now. If there is one thing I am really good at and I pride myself in being good at, it's making texts for niggas. I'm, yeah, I'm writing that curse now. Like, if someone's like, like, my homie, like, yo, yo, I'm talking to this girl. I don't know what to say. I pull out the pen and paper. I pull out the reading glasses. I'm telling you I'm nice. I'm telling you I'm nice. I'm telling you I'm nice. I'm telling you right now I'm nice. And my female viewers are, you know, yeah. It's just when it comes to doing it for me, bro, I, I can't do it, bro. Sometimes I have to add a little comment so we can work up off of, bro. I'm just. This nigga, Achilles, you just dropped the, the freaking gubby, bro. It's natural with it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, this unspoken rule right here, very important. Importance wise, this is a 10, because it can really be the decider of whether your homie secures the bag or not. Lock in, y'all. <laughs> now we're on to the third unspoken rule. And this Talk one, to me. I believe everyone must know. Because if someone has both earbuds in, and it's obvious. Do not talk to them. Sleep vibe and bobbing their heads to their music. Do not bother them, bro. If you wasn't invited, don't ask the girl. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. <laughs> but back to it, for real though, I ain't gonna lie. If I had both earbuds in and somebody tries to talk to me while I'm straight up in my own world vibing, milly rocking, oh my goodness. Do you understand how mad I'd be when somebody interrupts my, let me show you what I'm. You know what it is too? It's when they like do it the first time, like you doing your thing, huh? Oh yeah, yeah it's over there. It's when you put them back on and like you see, Shut up! Like if someone talks to you, you take your headphones off, respond, put your headphones back on, and you still see their mouths moving, my hands is gonna get to moving, bro. What are we talking about? What? If you see me on one of these, if you see me on these timing, like bro, then I hit that one ear, bro. Like you know somebody annoyed. I'm guilty of it, I'm guilty of it. I've interrupted somebody when I know they was vibing and I feel for them because I feel the same pain when it happens to me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this unspoken rule is very important. I'm, I'm out here tweaking out right now. And then somebody will interrupt you to ask a stupid question or make a dumb statement, bro. Like, what are you even Are you doing? listening I mean, to music? I throw my AirPod at their face. But nah, I need my ear. But still, um, this rule is not too crazy, but for me, it's very important. I'm, I'm gonna give it, gonna rank six. it at six. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Calm it, six. It calm six. Way. For this next unspoken rule, all my elite break breaders know what it is. Because you're not supposed to ask for somebody's food unless they've taken a bite or had some first. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm all for breaking bread and everything, but if I haven't opened up... I ain't gonna keep, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm a great friend. I love my friends. Love my friends like family, bro. I'll die for some of my friends. Real shit. That's a curse. I'm not breaking bread, bro. I ordered, I ordered six pieces for a reason, bro. I want six pieces. I don't want five and a half. I don't want five. Bro, I don't even, I'll give someone a fry. I don't want to give the fry, bruh. Big back, yes. I'm 230 pounds. Yo, you'll be hungry? Yes. I simply eat. And that's another thing. Like, I'm not bigger than Cheerio. I'm bigger than dang near all my friends. I'm bigger than you. I need this. Bro, I'm eating a six piece. Do you think this is filling me up? No. I, I don't like breaking bread, bro. I don't. I don't. It's one thing if I come in with a pizza, that's different. That's different. But, bro, why are you... Wh what do you gain from eating a single chicken tender? What do you gain from eating one chicken tender? Nothing. Nothing. The only thing you do is hold me. You know what I'm saying? I've never eaten one chicken tender and been satisfied. I hate how passionate I'm getting about this. I'm... I don't, I don't like how... I don't like how passionate I'm getting about this, bro. This is, this is actually... Big, yeah, big, big back at, yeah, 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 yeah. I just went on a rant for like 30 seconds and 
I eat a good chick, two chicken tenders and be good. I'm bigger than you. So yeah, if you can get satisfied off of two chicken tenders, imagine how unsatisfied I'd be off of five. You're being selfish. You're being selfish asking me for my food. No cap. No cap. Yo, yo ass be hungry. Yes! Yes! I have to eat 245 grams of protein a day. My bag yet and got a piece of myself. Why are you asking me? You just asking to fight at that point, bro. You want to throw hands on some Dragon Ball Z universe? Cause real ones know you're supposed to wait till your home. Bro would have ops for not sharing food in NYC, bro. She. I'm not sharing a bacon, egg, and cheese, bro. You're crazy. You get a bite till you get a bite, and then you ask, bro. It's the principle to it. And usually you can sense when somebody's about to ask you for food. So it's like, why not just wait? The thing is, I'll buy someone some food, though. Like, if someone asks me for, like, a, a nugget, I'll be like, I don't, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, but if you get something, I got you. I'll hit that. I'll hit that. I'll hit that. Until they get a piece. Like, let's just have some common etiquette here. Like, I ain't so it's not because I'm stingy. I remember one time I just opened up some chicken tenders, bro. Okay, bro, chill. My fault. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. I'm talking. Bro, when it come to food, I can get to yapping, bro. When it come to food, I can get to yapping, bro. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I think I could beat Internet Aaron in an eating competition. I really do think I could beat Internet Aaron in an eating competition. I'm telling you right now. I'm, we can tell. All right, bro. We, could, we can tell with your big ass. Bro, nah, for real, the food really does get you to yap. Bro! I'm not trying to share, bro. I'm not. My fault. My, okay, 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 okay. It's been like three minutes. Okay, my fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. restaurant my fault. on my campus. Bro asked me for a whole chicken tender. I ain't even take a bite of my own yet. And obviously, because I was a great person at the time and still am, I gave him one. Let's be honest. Yo-Yo gonna eat Aaron. Okay, okay, bro. Did I want to? No. Would that not want to have been less if he waited to ask? Yes. Like, come no. on, dude. This is stuff we need to learn. And speaking of common etiquette, bro, we need to. Ah, she's in the closet. Get out of the closet, bro. Went in the closet. You got to do a top to go food. You know what? I'm gonna make a big back animation, bro. I'm gonna make a big back animation. That's a funny. Actually, that's a funny video. That's a funny video. I'll write that down. I'll write that down. Big back and <laughs> that's a funny video. Big back animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. He would be like the jaw tight and look at the molars, bro. What are we doing, bro? What are we doing, Babs? All right, all right, I'm back. I'm locked in, I'm locked in, I'm locked in. I just yapped about five minutes with food, bro. Let's talk about this holding the door stuff. Because this is a very tricky one. But I would say if somebody's 10 feet away or more, just close the door. Oh, that got a ring to it, y'all. Because, bro, there's no way you should be holding the door for somebody. When I'm not going to lie. I don't mind doing this. I, like, I'll hold the door and then, but, like, like, I would hold the door in this situation, but I just look at my phone so they don't feel pressured to, like, walk fast. But I'm I'm a door holder, bro. I hate I hate slamming doors on people or closing doors on They're people. They're hundred feet away. Then they gotta do that little awkward jog. Or me personally, I use same bolt sprint to the door just to make them look goofy. Like, come on, bro. What are you doing? Like, I promise, they're not gonna feel any type of way if you just let the door close lightly and go about. It's your still day. mad awkward. I'm telling you, it's not awkward if you just look down at your phone. You see people in a rush anyway. So why are you holding the door for them? I have very bad experience with this because I lock eyes with somebody on some sharing gone mess and they just look at me. And I know they gonna hold the door. W and Baker I know music. have to hit that awkward jog I was talking about. <laughs> and it's just embarrassing, y'all. It's embarrassing. How am I supposed to function in society? It's a... <laughs> Bro, what am I talking about? And you know, for this holding door rule, I would say this is a... It's not that deep. Um, I would yeah. say this is a three. Now, this one's for all my gamers. And I know Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero is about to drop soon. So this is very important to know. This Talk is kind of a double unspoken rule. The first one being you do not pause a game during a match. Like, you know when you whipping on somebody or y'all having an intense fight. I'm not going to lie, bro. Not only am I a pauser, I'm a quitter, bro. I'm a quitter, bro. If I'm playing Smash and someone gets two of stocks ahead, I'm just going to quit the match and start it over, bro. You won. You got it. There's no need for me to see this match through. If I'm playing Smash and I SD, I'm quitting, bro. There's no there's no need for me to see it through, bro. I'm not going to lie, they bro. Don't pause the I'm game. not. But yeah, Shut that's up, something you don't do, bro. Because everybody know that gets people heated. Plus times 10. That's activate. Say, man. Hey, like, man. Hey, man. We having an intense battle, bro. Uh, unless you got to get some food or help your mom with the groceries. I'm going to pause and look at the move list. No cap. 
No cap, no cap. You better let it rock out. And then it'd be at the worst moments, too. It'd be like before you about to hit a finishing move, they hit the pause. Like, bro, what are you doing? You're about to lose. Oh, if you're doing a finishing move on me, and it's a, the finishing move is going to result in the end of the game, yeah, no, I'm pausing and quitting, bro. I'm pausing and quitting, bro. Come on. And speaking of here comes the next rule. You do not say GG after whooping somebody. <laughs> GG's is not GG's anymore, bro. Like, you say that when there is hidden beef over the game, and you just dropped your homie off. You hit him with that GG's. Oh. That's fighting words. That's fighting words. But for real, we need to know this because Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero dropping. Hey, I'm going to be on that game for Shelsky. Why am I like all nice and positive? That's because God woke me up this morning. Y'all know that? Continuing mm -hmm. on, one of my favorite unspoken rules is like, we don't even need to talk about this. If you hear a noise, do not check it out. Like, I don't. No cap. No cap. Yeah, get Sparkling Zero, yo, yo, run the fade. I'll get it. I'm gaming now. I don't know what they be doing in those movies, bro. Like, personally, I'm black, so I know I'm not supposed to do that in the first place. We get booming in the movie straight up. So why would I do it in real life? Because whatever's down there can come upstairs, too. So why would I want to get an early ticket meeting the Lord? Like, gang, I remember one time I was home alone. I heard something vicious downstairs. But maybe it was my imagination. Did I check it out? No. I stayed in my room, got back on the game. I said, it is what it is, y'all. Like, I'm telling you, if you with your homie somewhere and something spooky going on, y'all not going to check it out. Everybody just knows to just dip. And speaking no of that, cap. it reminds me of the other spoken rule. If you see somebody running, you run You too. also now, run. I don't know if this is a black people thing, but we do it anyways. And it's just everybody knows it because, you know, you don't want to stick around and find out. Basically, as nah. simple as that. Those two unspoken rules kind of go hand in hand. So I'm going to rate those. Dang near 10 out of 10. That could save your life one day. <laughs> Especially the running when everybody else is running. 10 out of 10s for those, bro. And you know, I was trying to come up with some more unspoken rules, but I don't really want to force nothing. For the last unspoken rule, I Talk got to me. you watching this video right now and haven't subscribed or liked the video. Come on now. Yeah, no cap. I'm going to need y'all to lock in with my dog, Jacob, through. You got to be like a real, a real one. What are you doing? At least drop a comment, gang. I know you made it this far, bro. So at least do something, man. If not, subscribe. Something. Follow me on Instagram. Come on. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm a funny guy. <laughs> and I talk to him, talk to him. But let me do these push ups, bro. Let me do these. You ain't like the video, though? Who ain't like the video? Who ain't like the video? Who? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. All right, McCurk's five times. That's 15 push ups. Jesus Christ. It's my fault. I ain't even using names, man. Golly, bro. 15? Hey, oh, where the hell did you come from? All right, y'all. That was my reaction to Unspoken Rules by Jacob Thru. Hope you guys liked it. I'll catch y'all next one. Peace.